What's up guys, it's Chris again, back to another fish tank video. Today I wanna to talk about water lettuce and what you need to know to keep it alive because I've been growing this stuff for years and years and I've figured out and I've dialed in all the secrets that a person needs to know. By the way, let me know in the comments section what you think of my entertainment center. And I just got done building this stand over here. This is six 10 gallon tanks. Please let me know in the comments section. This is what I see when I watch television on my couch and uh, it's just begun. But guys, let's deep dive into water lettuce. All the tanks here in the living room are doing quite well. I'm super impressed. I did get some blue green algae down in that tank, which kind of sucks, but I've been putting mollies in there and they've been feeding on it like crazy. And all these 10 gallon tanks over here are brand new, so don't judge me. They need a little time to kind of like season, grow some bacteria, microorganisms, and what have you. But I'm having a little bit of fun doing a little bit of aquascaping. I do have an order of plants coming in, so this is kind of just like some random stem plants that I had that I cut and just kind of like throwing in the tank. So, and uh, I did get some new algae scrapers, some little ones. Uh, these are pretty fun to kind of just like leave on the tank. I really like those. Um, we will get to the water lettuce in a minute, guys. I uh, got some new plants in here. I got some Lutwigia repens and some other stuff. Got some big giant snails. <sighs> okay, okay. I promise we're going to talk about water lettuce. Um, over here is kind of like my floating plant experiment over here. So this is frog bit and this is water lettuce. So I want to give you my secret to water lettuce because there is a secret when it comes to water lettuce. I also have a 30 gallon tank in here that the water lettuce is doing, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of how the water lettuce is doing. This is a 30 gallon tank. Does that water lettuce look like it's doing fairly well? Okay, so now that I've build, built your trust in telling you that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to growing water lettuce, let's deep dive into what it takes. Guys, check these. These are six new tank setups over here as well. It's 620 talls. I just found these new pieces of wood at uh, kayaking yesterday, so I'm really kind of like excited. There also is a little one in there. Okay, so water lettuce, what does it take? It takes like three important variables. Number one is going to be very low and or close to minimal surface agitation. And when I say surface agitation, what I'm talking about is movement at the water surface. Floating plants mainly hate any surface movement at that water surface, if that makes sense. So what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a sponge filter. If you're using a hang on the back filter, that's not a good route to go because as you can see, these water lettuce or just kind of mainly any floating plants in general, hate the water surface to be moving. This is all the surface movement I have over here. And what I had to do was actually hook up a sponge filter which looks like this over here. And not only that, but I had to minimize the water movement or the air bubbles coming out of it. And how you do that is you hook up your sponge filter normal, and then you also hook up a breather valve to kind of like, you, as you can see, air is also coming out of this. And that make that minimizes that surface movement. So number one, minimize as much surface movement as possible. A lot of people even effectively not have a filter whatso whatsoever. <sighs> Sorry, I can't speak. You know, like this tank right here uh, is stacked with four pea puffers. I don't know where they are. They're probably scared because I'm like yelling into the camera right now. But this, this tank right here probably doesn't even need a filter or any methods of filtration just because it's, uh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Come on up. Come on up. Yeah, these guys absolutely love this tank. Um, and by the way, the next variable, second variable is lighting. These things like super intense lighting. What I'm doing here is actually using a normal like CFL LED bulb. I think they're called an A19. Uh, you know, I don't wanna get too technical with this, but what this bulb is, it's actually like from your household. It's a 5K lighting, 100 watt bulb. I think it's like actually like 16 watts or something like that, power usage. I'm kind of geeking out and I've been told I, I confuse a lot of people when I talk about like 
uh, spectrum talk and what have you. But this is a, li a white lighting. This is a five or six K light, which is what you want on your tank. And brightness, AKA lumens is a huge big deal when it comes to water lettuce because they love to just get stoked with tons and tons of light. This is a, a, uh, a normal Nikru light just turned on as high as it will freaking go. Okay, so the first variable is very little surface movement. The second one, tons and tons of lighting. The third variable is going to be lower your water level because if you think about it, uh, if you put the light right on top, well, here's the deal. You either need to lower your water level or you need to raise your light because you want maybe like eight to 10 inches of a gap for the light to kind of like shine down on the plants. Because if the plants are right next to it, it's going to burn them. It's going to torch them, if that makes any sense to you. Um, this, these are my three variables. Um, I'm gonna throw a fourth in there. This is kind of like just a helpful tidbit. You gotta be very careful with this though. Ugh, sorry guys, I'm like panting. So the fourth variable is dose your water column. And what I mean by that is get some fertilizer, liquid fertilizer that you put in your water column because these guys feed all their nutrients from the roots that feed that are in the water column. They are not in the substrate, they are not in the, the gravel. And as far as brands, I'm not picky. I really like this Thrive. You get it on Amazon. I think it's like 10 to $15. This is one pump for every five gallons of water. These are 20 gallon tanks, so we do four pumps. But be very careful because will your plants explode in growth? Yes, but will the algae also as well? Yes, so be very careful because algae also loves proteins and nutrients in the water. By the way, shout out to Bud Light Lime. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Ugh. Guys, it's like hot in here. It's late, I'm, I'm hot, I'm drinking beer, I'm losing my mind talking about water lettuce. Uh, please give me a like here for just my dedication and uh, my passion, right? Look at that cool light up there, guys. That's pretty cool. That's a ladder rack. That's a ladder shelf with like a super old door I found in the attic. Uh, I'm really kind of geeking out with this house and I just love it, I adore it. Um, I really believe that it's, uh, I hope I hope it to be a fish store like with time, but it's not gonna be like one of those crazy fish stores that like uh, Sell tons and tons of product. It's more or less gonna be like maybe like the prettiest fish store or prettiest aquascaped Private fish store you've ever seen so and by the way if you're wondering what goes on in here We do some podcasts. Uh, we are still setting this up because there's three tanks going back there um, We've only done like two episodes in here. So Give, the, give this video a like if you want to see more podcast episodes. Um, but guys, the four variables on how to grow aquarium water lettuce, those are my tips and tricks. Uh, with those tips, you will grow aquarium water lettuce. I've trialed and experimented all different kinds of things when it comes to water lettuce and floating plants. Um, this is frog bit. This is actually one of the harder uh, floating plants that I've ever kept because I don't know... Um, uh, I, I have like a 200 watt bulb in here. I'm thinking that it just maybe wants more lumens or watts. Um, it, it is growing, but I really want it to kind of take off and explode because uh, to perfect, you know, to do videos on things, I like to perfect them because I don't want to speak on behalf of something I don't know how to do very well. So we're in the process of perfecting this. Got some beautiful guppies in here. Um, this this uh, this rock is weighing down that piece of wood. I'm super into finding my own pieces of wood at, uh, while also kayaking. It's a huge hobby of mine. All right, guys, I'm gonna quit blabbing. Please let me know in the comments what you think of my tips and tricks on how to grow aquarium water lettuce. Um, I gave it my, my heart and soul. So please give me a like and leave me a comment. What's your story? Are you trying to, are you struggling? Uh, I'm passionate. I'm, I'm almost certain that my tips and tricks will help you with your aquarium water lettuce. So please hit me up in the comments.